We're a few days late, guys, but there's a new Steam Deck beta client that came out on October 3rd, and we're going to cover all the changes right here in this video. But before we do, please smash the like, hit the subscribe, click the bell icon if you love tech and gaming and handheld consoles, and you want more of it on your YouTube homepage every day. Let's get into it, I'm Blaze 2K. Before we get into it though, check the link in the description and the top pin comment of this video for a link to my favorite Steam Deck accessories. You'll find everything you'll ever need for your Steam Deck on here. I have to keep sharing it with you guys because it's a good list and I'm adding a couple of new things today. So stay tuned for that. Follow it, bookmark it, click the heart button and maybe check on it from time to time in case you might find something new. And also check out pixelbuys.com, our new website. If you're a geek and you love tech and you love gaming stuff and you want cool stuff to buy and find out and learn about, whether it be a little bit of gaming news and cool product, product recommendations, um, come check out Pixel Buys. I think you'll love it and you'll find something you like on there. Anyways, let's get on to the changelog. So, um, Steam Deck Beta Client, October 3rd. Um, here's some of the general fixes. We fixed an issue with art for some games not properly updating. A client restart may be required for some art changes to fully appear. Um, fix some DLC art displaying in the wrong language. The fixed progress feedback um, for the eject button in the settings of storage disappearing as soon as the button's pressed. Obviously, with the um, eject button, in storage when you try and eject it and it says it the storage disappears the second you press it it's going to be nice having that little updated you know progress feedback to let you know that it's you know it's still trying to eject because things don't eject instantly in most cases we fixed labels for external drives not being editable during a format operation and this is something which is kind of interesting all right they've added something called world space a new experimental gyro conversion mode now like it says in one of my prior videos i've not really experimented with gyro control too much but i know a lot of people hit me back in the comments and were like blaze gyro's amazing and so <laughs> i'm gonna try it i've just not got around to it yet um, so this mode, this new world space gyro mode, it feels similar to using a laser pointer and it monitors rotation around the gravity axis to determine both horizontal and vertical output. Some may prefer player space, which is a hybrid of world yaw and local pitch, but um, cool, nice. And they've a fix for player space gyro conversion mode. Gravity axis is now reliable. Good. I love how they're doing, making all these little upgrades. like year a year more than a year after the steam deck came out fantastic pixels per 360 degrees setting values now copied within the current action set rather than across the entire steam input config this is an accommodation for games with different turning rates in different gameplay states i.e vehicle mode versus on foot mode may have a different camera turn rate and then partial re regression ooh, the I can't speak this morning. Partial regression fix for older gyro as joystick as joystick modes, but there are still known issues. Renovation is planned. This is all gobbledygook to me. But the world space exper experimental gyro conversion mode, and obviously the player space mode, I know enough about that. Um, so this one seems pretty cool. I like how they've called it. They're calling it world space now, um, and I think we covered that in a previous video about their gyro changes. But it's good updates across the board, mainly for you know in the storage settings when you're ejecting storage drives. You know, rather than it just disappearing instantly, it's going to tell you there's some progress going on and it's not fully disconnected <laughs> um, as of yet. So that'll be good, just to save your drives. You don't want to just see the storage drive disappear, think it's ejected and then just yank it out your SD card or whatever, right? Um, and obviously, some little fixes across the board. So, pretty good. Be a client update, October 3rd. Very nice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is there anything that stands out in that beta update for you? Nothing super exciting, but hey, we cover you on the, we cover all the news here on the Blaze 2K channel. And um, yeah, come follow me on X as well, guys. Um, I'm always posting on there. I'm posting the videos on there too. I'm going to try game streaming on this today. So... Yeah, check it out. And as well, like I said, check out pixelbuys.com because this is my baby, okay? So give that a check out and subscribe to it because I'll send some good emails to your inbox. You never know. I won't spam you, I promise. <laughs> so anyways, have a great day, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful week. And um, I'll see you in the next tech gaming news, handheld gaming news video. And um, I've got a review coming out for the Apple Watch. So if you want to see the Apple Watch Ultra review, stay tuned. And I've also, I'm also working on the INEO 2 S review, which is coming out very soon. So stay tuned to that. Anyways, guys, take care. Peace out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.